All right. So we have got our vector two in this level mathematics seems like that we are to consider uh this one it was actually November 2006 yeah uh but it's very very important that we talk about this question uh because uh, it had some of the other things that we just need to consider especially uh this last part there so I'm just going to quickly rush through our question and see how we are given so this was the question 5b of the paper uh november 2006 and we are given in the diagram prt and oqt are straight lines so we have prt or qt these are straight lines as you can see these drawn meet at uh, t and we've got the vectors op uh o to q and uh, p to r then the first equation is to express rq as simply as possible in terms of vector p and or vector q all right so this one was a straightforward person all you just need there is was to find the root that you are going to take from r up to q so from r here up to q this is where we want but we can use this direction r p p o or q because we've got uh, uh vectors there we can't use r t plus t q because there's nothing here there's nothing to consider all right so like i said we are going to take from r to p so uh, r to p then from p we move to o uh that's p o then from o we move to q so that is going to be o q like this all right so that is what you are supposed to have as your direction uh on the direction don't put the sign the sign you're going to indicate when now you are evaluating everything when you are now substituting the corresponding vectors that is from r to p we are opposing the direction r p we are going this way so that means it is going to be a negative of this vector so it's negative times this vector as it is which is 3p minus vector q multiplied by a negative the same thing from p to o you are opposing the arrow so we as we are going this way the arrow is going this way so we are opposing multiplied by a negative so that will be minus 2 vector p all right here yeah, there's no need for us to open a bracket it's a term on this part, there was a need because this one is an expression. There are two vectors, so we need to expand with a negative each and every term. All right, then we move from O to Q. Here we are maintaining the direction of the arrow, so it is going to be a positive on this one. So it will be positive 3Q. So as you can see, I've got brackets, so there's a need for us to expand brackets, collect like terms, multiply by negative. We are going to have minus 3 vector P negative times negative this will give us a positive vector q negative this one negative times this positive all right then uh this part other part we just write as it is plus uh three vector q so here there is a three not uh two so we've got three vector q collect like terms vector p and vector p together we are going to obtain negative three negative two which is going to give us negative five vector p all right or you can simplify on your calculator direct. Then we move on to Q. Here it's same as one Q. So it's one plus three Q, one plus three, that is four. So we're going to have four vector Q. All right, so this was the uh, vector or Q in this case. Let us just put it aside. We might need this one. We do not know. All right, so that was two marks for that. As you can see, it's fine. It's actually fine. Item two. PT is equivalent to MPR. It's a statement that you're given. Express PT in terms of this and that. All right, where M, uh, we know that this M represents a scalar. So we are given a statement that you just need to consider on this part. All right, you just need to consider the statement that you're given. So we are given that PT is equivalent to MPR. So it's M times vector PR in this case like this. And we have vector PR. Uh, on our diagram here, P to R, we have this vector. So we're just going to substitute. So it's going to be M times vector P R, which is uh, 3P minus vector Q. This one, we had it from the diagram. We never calculated it. It's already there on the diagram. All right, then you can multiply or you can leave your answer like this, but you can multiply by the constant inside. So it's going to be 3MP, M times minus Q, that's minus MQ. Multiplying uh, this part, uh, is the same 
uh, even if you left uh, if to leave your answer uh, the on the previous stage, this one still one of the same thing is fine. All right, so that was uh, what you're supposed to do on this part. You've got your M, your PT in terms of PQ and R, which was fine. All right, now let's see the item three, the one that I wanted us to actually work on. We are given that OT is equal to N or Q vector OT. Now they are saying form an equation connecting uh, this and that, that hence use that equation to calculate M, uh, to calculate the value of M and N. All right, let, let us be clear guys. All right, let's take the statement they gave us there. Let us take the statement. They gave us that OT, all right, this is uh, item uh, three. Is it item three or it's, uh, an, uh, all right, this is item three. Let us consider the statement. So we are given a statement here that uh, vector OT is equivalent to any or Q. This is what we are given. Then they are saying form an equation in terms of uh, any, then solve for M and N. All right. From this statement alone, I want you to see what this statement was going to give you. We are going to take this, multiply all Q because all Q is there. We've got all Q here from O to Q. It's vector 3P. This is what you're going to have. All right, so you multiply this to vector 3Q, which represents what? OQ. And this was going to give us vector OT, which is equal to 3NQ. All right. We have formulated a, an expression equation for OT, but it's useless for us to, 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 to use this because as we can check here, we are given PT, not OT. We don't have any equivalent vectors. And I said, guys, in order for you to find the values of the unknown, you must equate from equal vectors, it must be from, from equal vectors, the vectors which are the same. Here we have got PT, this is OT, they are not the same. So what does it mean? You are to find vector PT from this OT that you just calculated. You are forced to find vector PT. Once you are working with equal vectors, you can be able to calculate the value of any unknown that you are given. So we need to find a root for PT, but this root must contain OT. All right, so which root are we going to take from P to T on our diagram? This is what we have from P to T like this, but this root must contain, this whole root for PT must contain OT. OT must be there. So meaning to say we are going to move from P to O, then from O to T in order for us to have PT. All right, so we are going to find uh, the vector that corresponds to PT since we are given PT from this one. All right, so that means here we are going to find PT, which we said is from P to O plus from O to T. So as we can see, OT is involved, the one that carries, that is carrying N. So meaning to say we are going to have from P to O, this one is on our diagram, P O. We can check here from P to O. We are opposing the direction of the arrow. We are opposing, so it is going to be a negative uh, 2P. All right, so here we are going to obtain uh, negative 2P. All right, so we have got negative 2P plus OT. OT is this one that we have, and OT is 3NQ like this. So we have vector PT. So if you have the vector PT now, it's easier for us to find the values of the unknown from the PT that we have. Why? We, uh, we are now equating these two vectors. We've got PT here. So I want you to see the two PTs that we have. We've got the first PT here and the second PT. So from these ones, we are going to equate from these equal vectors. So what are we equating? I said, you simply equate the part that has got vector P and the part that has got vector P here. So meaning to say here we've got three M P, which is equal to the part that has got vector P here, which is minus two vector P. So as we can see vector P, vector P are the same. You simply cancel so that you remain with a three M equal to minus two. You have formulated an equation from there. You do the same thing on the part that has got uh, Q in this case. We've got the part with Q here, the part with Q here. So this is minus MQ. So you're going to have minus MQ 
is equal to the part that has got vector q here, which is plus three n q. So uh, that is from the equal vectors. We can see that q and q are the same. So you can cancel this. You remain with the minus m being equal to three n, which is our equation two. All right. So I said from the previous questions that I we did, if you whenever you are given these two equations on how to solve these two equations, it's up to you guys. If you check on the first equation here, there's an advantage because we just have one unknown in this case. We have got one unknown value. And whenever you've got one unknown value, you can simply solve here, divide by three, by three, both sides, we can find the value of M, all right? So if we divide by three there, it means we are having the value of M being minus two over, minus two over three. We have the value of M. With the value of m, we can substitute this in, in this equation that we have, which is our equation two. So we are going to substitute uh, in equation two, the value of m that we are that we obtained. So meaning to say, where there is an m, let us substitute, is going to be a negative. Uh, there's a negative, then our m, it's a negative. So it's negative two over three like this, which is equal to three n. So meaning to say, we can solve for n negative negative it's a positive so 2 over 3 is equal to 3n which is same as 3n over 1 so by solving your equations you can cross multiply uh, these two equations that's 3 times 3 which is going to be 9n is equal to 2 times 1 which is a 2 so to find n simply divide by 9 by 9 both sides the part that is multiplying n so n is going to remain as 2 over so this is, these are the values that we're supposed to have the value of M and uh, the value of N using the vector concept that in order for you to find the unknown values, you must take these ones from equal vectors. So we're forced in this case to find the vector PT, but you're not even told about this. So this is what is important, guys. When you are revising uh, questions, please understand the technique. When you are answering even on your finals, understand the technique of the question. Don't just answer to say, I did this question. We are supposed to understand the technique of each part that you'll be given there.